so I want to talk a little bit about my obsession with ratchets. I have acquired all of these in seven or eight months. Pretty new to the collecting of them. And I'd like to show you some of my favorites and some of the ones not to buy. Like when I first started, it was all about quantity, getting more ratchets rather than the better quality ones because I don't work in a shop or do anything like that for a living. This is just all for home use. I want to start out with, let's see, start out with the quarter inch stuff. So I only have four ratchets so far. Got an Ares, a Tecton, a Dreaded Craftsman, and a Gear Wrench. And um, they're all not that bad, honestly. They all do their job. If I had to pick a favorite, I'd probably say, well, there's two. The Gear Wrench and the Tecton. See if I can do this. 90 toothed. Pretty good ratchet. A little bit longer than the gear wrench. But the 90 tooth on this thing is pretty good. Use this quite a bit. I'll go. I just want to say that newer Craftsman gun metal isn't as bad as the older stuff. really like the finish. The mechanisms could be better, but a lot better to look at than the old ones. It's got a half inch, got an Allen, got a Stanley, a Power Built, two Craftsmans, and a Titan. Titan's the biggest one. It's just a 36 tooth. Ouch. Haven't used it a lot, so I don't know how reliable it is, but it was cheap. But the USA made one that someone gave me. And the gunmetal one. Which is probably better. Out of all these half inch ratchets I'd probably say I don't really have any good brands of them but yet yeah. power built 90 tooth just I think they get that from gear wrench trying to copy them really fine tooth has a good grip not too short Feels pretty good, surprisingly. My favorite half inch ratchet. Don't have a Tecton in it yet, or a Matco. I will have soon. And then the ones I have the most of, the 3 8 drive. It's hard to pick with these. First, I'm gonna say what not to buy. Um. I wouldn't go with the Harbor Freight ones. I mean, some of their stuff's alright, but the ratchets just I pass on. And this guy, Crescent Pass Through. Oh, it's hard to do this with one hand. Sounds. All right, but it's really not made that well. Sockets get jammed in there. If you're putting pressure on them, they're hard to get out. I bought this kit off Amazon with the sockets, and it was missing two sockets. And I tried contacting them, and never got anything. And 
It's Cobra. 160 tooth. Stillman Pro. Really fine tooth. I like it. I wish it was better. It feels good. The problem with it is if you put any pressure on it and then try to switch. Well, I can't do it with one hand, but it gets jammed and it don't want to switch from on to off. Um, the rest of these ain't too bad. Crescent one. Lock the handle, but feels like it skips sometimes. But it was cheap. You get what you pay for. And it's not go. Well, extendable ratchet. Let's see if I can do this. Goes to let's say that's 13, 14 inches. Yeah, about 14. It's really not that bad of a ratchet for the price. I mean, I wouldn't take it to no shop and work with it, but at home, it's all right. Let's talk about my absolute favorites now. We've got a Matco. Of course, the Snap-on. And two Tectons. Six here. My go to's. I don't need that many. Talk about my newest ones first and my absolute favorite. Just got this Matco 12 inch locking head, locking flex head. My most expensive ratchet. About 180, 190 bucks. I just got this used Snap-on F80 for $53. I just greased it up probably too much. You can barely hear it. I haven't used either one of these yet, but I can already tell I'm going to be using this thing all the time. My only lock and flex head Which is really cool. Better than the snap on version, which sticks out. And then I'm going to talk about these two Tectons. We'll be acquiring some more in the future because Tectons probably my favorite overall brand just for their value and their quality and all their USA made stuff. Wish they made a lock and flex head but 90 tooth really fine and the only other thing I'd change about Tecton is they should come out with some comfort grip stuff and it's a lock and flex head would be nice we'll talk about the Williams which is basically a older snap-on. I love the handle. It's only 62. It's one of my lower count ones, but you can't really tell. Taiwan. And then the Capri, which is really cheap. And I've took this one apart. I took them all apart, but Which one was it? 
took it apart and the, I want to say the Williams and the mechanisms inside are pretty much identical. You can tell where they get their ideas from. So, pretty good brand for budget and Tecton. Williams wasn't that expensive either. If you're working from home, I'd get one of these for sure. Tecton or Capri. And if you just love ratchets and we're working a shop, I would get you a Matco made in the USA. Just can't see that. Part number BFR one two A L F G. Snap one's also made in the USA. I'm gonna get a comfort grip next time. But this video is already long enough. Thank you and subscribe. Have a good evening.